excited because I am sharing with you my very first traveler's notebook insert. This is kind of where it all started back in like 2014 or 15. Um, and I have a few flip throughs of these other books. If you guys want to check them out, I'll have the videos in the description. Um, and then this number four is my current that I'm still working on and I'm about halfway through with it. So whenever that one's done, I'll have a flip through. But today we're starting with number one. I'm really excited because this is my very first insert and I just finished it up because I am really bad at finishing journals. So sometimes they'll just sit on a shelf for years and I'll come back to it. Um, so that's what we are doing today. I just finished up this journal, so I thought I would do a flip through. So on the front and back, I just printed some images off of Pinterest or Google. Um, like I said, this was a few years ago. I probably wouldn't do that anymore just because I know a little bit more about like artist copyright stuff, but uh, back then, I just printed it off and Mod Podged it on and added these vellum numbers. I added the vellum numbers on the other books I think, oh, maybe. I think I have number five also, but I just thought it kind of tied them together, even though they have different covers and stuff, they all have the numbers on them. So I like the big vellum numbers and of course, more skulls, skulls on everything. <laughs> Uh, in the front cover, I just had the little bits, it looks like, uh, washi tape from Pen Pals and little bits from Chipotle. I had a swatch page. Normally I do it at the back of a book, but I think this was my very first like creative journal kind of thing, so I did a swatch page at the front. I left this page blank because I wanted to see how the swatches would come through, um, but then when I finished up this book, I was like, these pages don't need to be blank anymore, so I added a bunch of like doggos and stuff, so <laughs> um, Tim Holtz and Lace and Whimsy, and then I have a bunch of these like vending machine stickers. I think I've shown them before, but I have so many stickers and like temporary tattoos. Um, a few people gave me some good ideas that maybe to donate them to like a boys and girls club or like a shelter or something, like a kids shelter, um, which I think is a really cool idea. So I'm gonna go through those, um, but that's where these are from. I had a friend that worked for a vending machine company. Uh, this is like my first little collection of tea tags <laughs> and I'm still kind of adding to it as you can see because I am such a slacker. Um, <laughs> this is from the tea I had the other day and I just kind of put it on my desk and then whenever I remember, I try to put them in here. But it's just a collection of tea tags and I drew this little girl and then, oh, my favorite page ever, ever, ever. Just like the texture of all these stamps is magnificent and they're from all over the world. So I love this page. And this is kind of when I was doing like pen pal stuff. Um, and it, they're just so beautiful. I love all these stamps. I'm like a stamp collector. <laughs> uh, and then I was really into like word art kind of thing. I still kind of am, but these were just some quotes that I was feeling and then black and white and I tried to draw girls <laughs> just because I kind of like that look but I'm not very good but recently I've taken up drawing and I am improving my skills but again I just like the look of the little girls and I did a lot of journaling and this was kind of the time when my mom went into the hospital so it was like sitting in the hotel or <laughs> hospital waiting room or doctor's office and writing stuff down. So that's kind of the journaling. Oh, you can see February 9th, 2015. That's when I started this book. So the beginning of 2015, crazy. <laughs> I tried to keep up with it. It looks like doing a page a day, but it doesn't look like I kept up with it very well. And this is a temporary tattoo and it's gold foil turned out pretty cool you can use your temporary tattoos just like you would on your skin in your journals um, I'm like I like the little girls the drawings of the little girls another temporary tattoo and a drawing of a girl some more kind of word art ish thingies kind of word hand lettering um, I think this was a challenge that I did and this was just the cute little guy off Pinterest lots of journaling with little 
doodles in here. I think this is a post-it note that I just stuck in and I stuck in a little card from some happy mail um, from my green cow or Daisy and I thought it was good advice so I put it in here. Um, these are just notes that I took at the hospital um, March 18th and 19th. A lot of really heavy medical terms because you know if you're talking to a doctor sometimes your eyes just like I can't keep up you just zone out so I tried to write down everything um, that they were saying because that helped and then I went back in later and added like the highlighter and all the stickers and all the cute stuff to try and make it a little bit more less depressing because this is like really depressing information like all the doctors and medicines and all that stuff it sucks um, a to-do list from one of my past relationships that we never did anything we broke up before then <laughs> oh that's funny and just relationship journaling some cosplay that I wanted to to try and I did make a Molnir. where is it right here because um, I thought of this cute little like Sailor Thor costume thing, uh, but I don't like sewing clothes. Uh, I did like making the prop, so I have my own Molnir hammer. Uh, so this was fun, but I never went and made the actual costume, even though I think it would be cute. Um, and I have another little cosplay kind of thing on the back that never got done. A list of clothes that I never got done. <laughs> A list of a journal idea that I had and then a Lister's got a list prompt uh, this page was blank for the longest time because I just had notes and random stuff kind of on these pages so this was left blank and I went back in later and added the Disney princess stickers and a Lister's got a list and I put a little tab on it so that I could come back to the prompts um, if I wanted to because I kind of went to the next available page which was this one after all my like note taking and uh, did this Lister's got a list for I don't know what month it is but it doesn't have to be like per day it doesn't have to be a daily challenge because that can get really stressful and it's not good for your creativity if you are stressed out by the project so just you can put it in a journal and do the prompts as you wish. That's kind of how I liked it. And if you don't have something to write about or if you need like a little bit of space or something or a little bit of filler, you can do one of these little lists. So I liked that. Um, like I said, just notes. I think this was uh, like when my mom passed away. I was like, this sucks. And then I just wrote numbers because I was just like, Dah. I don't know. I just needed to count in my head and I just wrote it down so this is a lot of crappy journaling um, but it needed to get done and I have a handsome Elvis with the little I love you washi tape because I love young Elvis he's so handsome <laughs> uh, this is another kind of challenge I think it was to do your spring bucket list and this one was really fun because I don't think it was like the style that I had been doing before uh, cutting out magazine or book pictures and then I don't know it was really fun and I kind of want to get back to this and then another quote word hand lettering sort of deal I don't know how to describe it a tattoo artist sticker <laughs> uh, using up a bunch of stickers I think this was happy mail and then it matched some stuff I had perfectly so I threw it all on the page and here are my listers got a list prompts I just used the uh, journaling cards because I have so many journaling cards from when I did project life and now that I don't do project life I still have so many journaling cards so I've been trying to find good ways to use them and this was a easy way um, and a bunch of little cute die cuts and I don't know super cute with the little journaling cards and the little stickers love it and then I got a bunch of pictures printed off. Um, I tried to film a process video, but uh, the footage was corrupted. So I also filmed this flip through, but the footage was corrupted. So um, I got a bunch of free prints from Snapfish and I just cut them up. And a lot of this is really photo heavy because that's a really easy way to fill up the rest of the pages. Because, you know, once you get like past halfway or there's like five or ten pages left in a journal, you just get like so antsy and you want to finish it. So this journal has literally taken me years, like I said, 
February of 2015, I think, is when I started this, and now it's uh, almost October 2017, so I just wanted to fill up these last few pages with a lot, a lot of pictures to get it over with. Um, and this is one of my favorite pictures of myself. Um, I recently started, like, liking taking pictures of myself. I'm not sure if it's, like, the weight loss or what, but it's uh, kind of fun to take pictures and uh, this is one of the ones I actually enjoyed and it's a great memory because it's hot Cheetos corn and I'm totally a hot Cheetos freak there's always hot Cheetos in my house so this was really fun and then I just had some pictures of dogs on my phone this was Fetty I think I showed her on the channel but uh, she passed away and then this is my ex-boyfriend's dog that I missed <laughs> And I saw this really funny meme that was uh, like, I miss my ex's dog more than I miss my ex, and just kind of, <laughs> I just miss the puppies. And then I have my puppy, Honey, uh, and she's just so cute, random like lake pictures when we go for walks, and uh, I'm just so mean to her. I love her so much. And these scallops and this little thing was from a Flow magazine. I have it on this page. But I cut it down and there were these really cute scallops, so I tried to add it on a lot of these photos to kind of tie them together. A frame from the Dollar Tree. Um, I really like the wall art stickers at the Dollar Tree because they're big stickers and sometimes they're pretty cool. I got some frames and I got some monsters. I think I showed them. But there's like monster stickers, they're so cute, and they're only a dollar for a really big sheet. So the dollar store wall art stickers are good for journaling. And I just put some stuff in here to fill it up and I did some journaling. After the fact of, uh, this was my first real tattoo, I think, um, which you can see right here. And now I have a good amount of tattoos um, wanting to get more. So I just kind of did journaling where I am now versus like, or what I thought about back then. So. Uh, just kind of fun to look back on another tattoo photo of when I got my uh, my holly with the with the skulls. One of my favorites. I love Christmas. I'm getting so excited for Christmas. Um, I'm getting really excited for Halloween because that's what's next. And my boyfriend said I could put out my Halloween decorations, so that's what I've been doing the last two days. Um, and then after Halloween, it's Christmas. I'm so excited. I'm such a Christmas freak, as you can tell. <laughs> Uh, I put this California map cut out in the back and then it's really busy so I didn't know what to do so I just had these extra prints. Um, they're the free snapfish prints uh, that I mentioned. Uh, if they're still having a promotion I'll try and put something in the description so you can get some free prints which is really nice because you get photos off of your phone or off of your camera um, that you wouldn't normally print and it's like you don't lose anything because they were free. <laughs> so I just put these photos here and a little squirrel sticker because it is a squirrel season in my yard and they are a nuisance. <laughs> so uh, I like the little squirrels. They are cute, but they are the devil. Um, getting more pictures off of my phone that I wouldn't normally do. Like my chickens, I've been totally loving my chickens lately and I just had some pictures of them. This is another picture. I think I shared a similar one on Instagram. Oh, oh, I remember what it is. This was my favorite picture from the day, and it's the three of us girls. And then this was another picture from the day. So I printed this one off, and then I wouldn't have normally printed this one, but since it was free, hey, might as well. So it's in a different journal. I don't really care. It's not dated. I don't really care. It's just getting photos off of my camera roll and doing a little bit of journaling just because it helps me reflect on those memories and I, I love it. I love my journals and I love flipping through them again. Uh, I don't know, stickers, pictures, journaling, same thing over and over, <laughs> the scallop. Uh, this was from the Flow magazine. It, I believe, is from the relationship. No. I don't know. <laughs> it's one of the Flow magazines and there's really cool illustrations. I don't think it's this one. It might be just the, the relationship flow magazine. I just, I'm in love with these magazines lately. Daphne's Diary, 
flow. Um, I've been doing a lot of magazine projects. I think last week I did a magazine art journal. Yeah, it's in here. There's these uh, really pretty images in the background and I've been cutting them out and putting them in my journal. So this one is the, I wanna say Rob Ryan art piece. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad at making videos. And I just cut it up and put it in here. So these were more free prints and it was supposed to be like a panoramic kind of thing but I didn't check the aspect ratio when I ordered the prints and since they were free it doesn't really bother me that they didn't turn out. I just kind of hinged them together and I still get the same effect, kind of. It's not perfect but you know, you get it. Uh, these were really pretty photos that I took at Loon Lake. And it, that was a really fun day, so I'm glad I have those pictures, and I just have them right in there. This was from my art journal, I believe, but it was originally in a Daphne's diary. I just added some gel pen. I just tipped it in because I think I dismantled my art journal, and I kept my favorite pieces, and I think I threw away the ugly practice pieces because that's totally fine with me. They were just practice. And then these are more of the Lister's Got a List way back here in my little tab. These are more prompts from this list because this was the last page and I didn't know what to fill it with so I just did more lists to take up space and the little kitty cats are from a flow magazine the big book of drawing edition and the other flow magazine was the love and life special edition uh, I have the single editions of the Daphne's Diary and I try and collect all of them but for the flow magazines I look at the special editions those are uh, kind of fun for me so this one is all about relationships and this is the big book of drawing they may still have them at your local Barnes and Noble but if not I will try and link them in the description because they are so much fun and great material for the paper lover you know exactly what they are and this little piece is just hinged on here. Another one of those monster stickers and a qu random quote. <laughs> More vending machine stickers and a YouTube sticker. And that's it, oh my goodness. Uh, that is my very first traveler's notebook that I started back in February 2015 and just now finished it. Uh, really, really fun. I love all of my journals. They're so special to me. Uh, so I'll try and have these other videos linked if you haven't seen them. Uh, the flip throughs of these two guys. And like I said, number four, if you guys want to see it, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Also make sure you like this video because then I'll know if you guys actually want to see another flip through or if they're getting boring. Um, I don't know. Are they just interesting to me? <laughs> this is another one of those uh, kind of relationship art posters from this book, Relationship Flow magazine. Um, beautiful. The kiss. And it just flips out. <laughs> so if you guys want to see a flip through of this little guy, let me know. Um, I'm so excited. Look at how cute my traveler's notebook looks with the orange little tabs and the orange little, I don't know, band and my orange little paper clips. So much cuteness. So I am totally still in love with my traveler's notebooks, even though I'm thinking about going to the Hobonichi for 2018. Um, these books are still priceless and so special to me. So thank you guys for hanging out today. I know it's kind of a longer video. These flip throughs always are. I'm sorry. That's just how it is. But thank you guys for hanging out. Make sure you are subscribed and leave a comment down below saying, I don't know what your favorite page was in this flip through. Um, Thanks, guys.